What's up YouTube, ProTech here, back with another video for you guys today. Today's video is gonna be an update on my move to Vietnam. Um, process continues to be uh, quirky. So essentially where we're at right now is I had called up the Vietnamese embassy and uh, I had applied for a three month tourist visa where in which the guy told me that if uh, I wanted to extend it for another three months, I could. And if for whatever reason, the one year tourist visa comes back, he didn't see why I wouldn't be able to upgrade it from a three month visa to a one year tourist visa. Assuming that policies changed and it came back. Fast forward a couple days after that, um, I hadn't got a charge on my credit card. I didn't know what was going on, so I called him up again, and he said that the consulate and the embassies here in America currently do not have the, I guess they don't have the authority, or they don't have the capability, or perhaps maybe they don't have enough information about what's going on right now, um, but uh, long story longer, he basically said uh, you're not going to get charged for this, the application's not going to go through, and you'll have to try at a different time. So I've been looking into ways to circumvent that, and I believe you can use an online website um, to apply for this thing, which, I mean, essentially what you're doing is you're paying for convenience. If you don't want to pay for that convenience, the, the absolute cheapest way to get the visa is uh, doing it through the uh, embassy or consulate here in the U.S., but if for whatever reason you have to go now and you can't wait, then that could be an option for you. One thing I will note, though, is that I have had a few conversations with these places, and They don't really seem like they know what's going on much either. So I don't really know where it's at right now. As far as I understand it, when they, they, they are technically open fully for tourism. Um, but it's almost as if they're doing it in stages, right? So like right now they're in the first stage where they're just, they're letting people do the e-visa, which is the 30 day visa, or they're letting people get the, uh, who come from the countries who are exempt from getting visas, and, you know, they can only tour around for 15 days, or in some cases 30 days, something like that. Either way, um, if you want to have an extended stay, which is what I want to have, um, it isn't possible right now. So, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.